let me, let me make a genuine offer again to Richard Leonard. Every penny of the Scottish budget this year is accounted for. So if Richard Leonard wants us to give more money to the Scottish Welfare Fund this year, then if later today or tomorrow or even next week he wants to bring to me proposals uh, about where we take that money from within the already allocated Scottish yes. budget, I will listen to that and I am prepared to have that discussion. But we never hear that from Richard Leonard and that is the problem. So we will continue to protect the poorest. Uh, next week, of course, uh, there will be a statement setting out uh, our plans on the income supplement, which uh, I look forward uh, to setting out to this Parliament. But I say again, Richard Leonard will have little or zero credibility on these issues for as long as he is prepared to defend the powers that determine all of these things, not lying in this Parliament, but lie in the hands of a Conservative government at Westminster. But the the specific mm -hmm. goals and intention of Scotland's Climate Justice Fund. I, I'm so impressed by this. It just blows me away, as we say in America. Uh, how is this Climate Justice Fund being used to develop climate change mitigation projects uh, in select developing countries in Africa? That's a lot of political will to convince your people to support that. It's the right thing to do, but it, and it's so inspiring. Well, I think Scotland was the first country anywhere in the world to establish a climate justice fund. I don't recall Scotland ever being informed about a climate justice fund. I don't recall Scotland as a whole being questioned about which countries should benefit from a climate justice fund. But I do find it rather interesting how Helmet Head and the SNP in general continuously peddle the same shit about poverty and their excuse as to why poverty is always on the increase in Scotland. They just blame Westminster. They blame the fact that they don't have enough powers at their disposal. So until such times, poverty will continue to increase. But yet, people seem to be either oblivious or they just don't care as to the amount of unnecessary BS that the SNP fund, including a climate justice fund. For example, this is a new one, climate change and sustain sustainability on the curriculum for Scottish pupils. Yes, that's right, they're going to brainwash your children into thinking climate change is exactly the way the UN want you to think it is. And how much money money's been pumped into this? 650 grand of Scottish Government grant funding. Funnily enough, Helmet Head said a few years ago regarding climate change and the rest of the sustainable development goals that the UN have dictated. Scotland cannot act with credibility overseas if we are blind to inequality here at home and our ambitions for a fairer Scotland are undermined with, without global action to tackle poverty, promote prosperity and to tackle climate change. But yet, child poverty as well as poverty in general still continues to increase in Scotland and she blames Westminster while funding unnecessary and pointless organisations and charities and so on under the guise of inclusion and diversity, such as 600 grand being awarded to the Scottish based organisation organisations working with partners in two countries under the Climate Justice Innovation Fund empowering communities to respond to a changing environment. These two countries are Malawi and Zambia and of course the reason that we're doing this is because we're to blame for climate change apparently and these countries are poor. But again the expression charity begins at home seems to be a thing of the past. How about this for example, 300k is being funded into 15 projects to benefit women, of course, women and girls to get active. Yes, money being pumped into sports for women and girls and teenage girls, as well as 1.3 million being funded to boost girls getting into STEM. <laughs> yes, that's right. They say young people, but they really do mean girls, or mainly girls, if possible. Or from 2016 to 2017, there was a multitude of organisations all under the guise of progression and inclusion and so on that were funded heavily by the Scottish Government, such as N Gender, a feminist organisation, Inclusion Scotland, Interfaith Scotland, LGBT and the Youth Scotland, Women's Aid, Scottish Women's Convention, Stonewall, Refugee Council, Racism, the Red Cards, etc, etc. Millions and millions and millions of pounds pumped into organisations and charities in order to obtain some fabricated version of equality and cohesion within Scotland, but yet poverty continues to increase. How about pulling money from the feminist organisations and the LGBTs and the T organisations until such time? That'll be an idea, Helmet Head. That'll be a fucking great idea. Peace.